Witam serdecznie wszystkich widzów portalu Fight24 z tej strony Wojtas. Aktualnie znajdujemy się w nowo otwartej Akademii Mieszanych Sztuk Walki Pana Boba Schreibera oraz jego małżonki Irmy Schreiber, jednych z trenerów naszego dzisiejszego gościa, którym jest Stefan Struw. Hi Stefan! Probably everyone asks you this question now. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great, you know, everything is, is going well. I've been training for a long time. Uh, I had a little break after uh, my, my fight was supposed to happen July 5th. Uh, I had some trouble with my uh, medication I'm using for the heart. Uh, we switched to a different medication and an entire new world opened for me. You know, I feel so much better, not only uh, physically but mentally. So everything is going very well and I feel very, very well prepared for the fight. So. That's nice. Uh, did it come to your mind that your uh, fighting career may be over? Yeah, well, especially, you know, when, when I was in the locker room, locker room and I, I had the blackout in the locker room. The only thing I could think of, they're never gonna let me fight again after this. And, uh, you know, I, I thought it was over. Uh, and of course, you know, I didn't really know what was going on then because I didn't know the medication was causing me to, you know, black out, give me the final push to do f for that to happen. So, um, you know, I was really stressed out and um, I didn't know what to think. But then the next day we heard from someone who had trouble with the medication too. And uh, a couple of days later, another person told us that uh, they also had trouble with the same medication, uh, mood swings and, um, you know, just feeling really bad overall mentally. And uh, I'm really happy that I got rid of the medication and I, uh, you know, I feel so much better now, so. Uh, how quickly were you able to start training again? You know, um, nothing really happened in the locker room, so it, it wasn't like there was something wrong with my heart. It was just mentally, because of the med med medication. And um, I, I took a little break for about two weeks, and then after I started training again, and I helped my teammates prepare for a couple fights. So I've basically been, been training the last four months, and yeah, I, feel, I feel really good. So. Okay, nice. Next time you'll be fighting against Alistair Overeem, a very experienced fighter. Do you think is a good match up for you after being out of action for so long? You know, it's um, it, it's been a while, that's for sure. But um, I feel completely the same as always. Training sucks as much as always. So uh, you know, I feel ready for this fight. I know I got all the skills to beat him. Um, he's not the fighter he was when he was winning the K1 and the Strike Force title and the Dream title. Uh, you know, a lot a lot changed. And he had some trouble with uh, with doping, with uh, steroids, um, and you know he got suspended for that. But you know I'm I'm back, and uh, I I just want to show that you know I'm still one of the best heavyweights in the world. And you know if I do my thing, he, he doesn't have a chance. Yeah, about doping, this is the the next question. Next question: How do you think Overeem will come out uh, clean for this fight, or be fired for using steroids again? Yeah. <laughs> That's really up to him. Uh, I don't really care about what he's gonna do. Um, everybody, in my opinion, needs to do what they think is, is best for them. And um, I, I just think that um, if you get caught for steroids once in the UFC, they should fire you and they should never let you back in. It's That's right. It's, it's not like with baseball. With baseball, they hit a ball further. Yeah. With, with, with soccer, they kick a ball better. They run faster. But with, with fighting, you can punch someone harder. You can kick someone harder. If someone gets uh, injured really bad or maybe even dies in, in the cage when something happens, and it doesn't happen a lot, but if that happens and the opponent has used steroids, then you got yeah. a real problem. I know what you mean. The, somebody, if somebody makes mistake, they must be punished forever. Eh? Of course, you know, I, you know, it, it's not allowed. And you know, if you do something that's not allowed, I think you should be punished for it. You know, but you know, I, I'm happy I never used or even came close to using something like that. Because if, if I would ever have used anything with my heart, it pro probably would not have gone well. So. Yeah, for sure. What are you pre prediction on how the fight will go? Uh, you know, we're, we're both fight finishers. We both win by submission or knockout. And I plan to, to knock him out. You know, I plan to, to be one of the guys who, who you know, is, uh, is, is on his losing streak of, you know, he lost three, three of his last four fights by knockout. And I plan to make it four of last five. So that's, that's my prediction. Uh, do you prefer to fight him on stand up using your reach or on the ground? Yeah, you know, I think that if, if I keep my distance, 
and um, you know don't let him play his game with the clinch and all that I don't I don't think that's a problem for me too the clinch because I'm taller and if, if I'm smart then you know he's not using his knees like he, he normally does if I use my distance well and you know keep him at on the outside with my with my jab and my front kick and then just wait for a mistake for him to happen and touch him once with my right hand then it's all over okay and how did you prepare for this fight? Um, I've been training here in Holland and uh, it has, has gone very, very well. Um, I train with uh, an awful lot of really good K1 fighters and uh, I just feel really fit and really healthy. So. Okay, nice. Where do you think the victory will place you in the heavyweight division? You know, um, I, was, I was ranked between number 5 and number 10 when I got injured against Mark Hunt. And I, I won that ranking back, you know, and everybody saw what happened. Mark Hunt fought for the, the title last weekend. Stipe Miocic is fighting Dos Santos, and if he wins, he's probably going to get his title shot. Those are my last two opponents. So, you know, I think that shows, you know, just where about I should be. I should be, you know, fighting for a title shot or, you know, being ranked in the top five of the world. You know, I know, I know I'm that good, so I just need to show it in the K. I show it every single day here in the gym. But now I just need to show it in the cage again. Okay. And uh, when can we expect you to come to Poland again? Uh, yeah, we we uh, we'll plan for uh, for next year. I had a really good experience the last time, and uh, it um, you know I'm looking forward to come back and see more of uh, Poland. Okay. It's, it's nice. a great country. Will be nice. Okay, Stefan. Thank you very much for your time. We wish you good luck in your fights. Yeah. Appreciate. It. Thank you. Korzystając z okazji, chciałbym serdecznie pozdrowić naszą koleżankę z portalu Fight24, Martę Kałuża Tomasiak, której niestety nie może być dzisiaj z nami, cały klub Grappling Kraków oraz wszystkich południowców z Bielska Białej i okolic. Dla portalu Fight24, Wojtas.